So the God of War Ragnarok PC itself has FSR 3.1 and XCSS with FSR 3 frame generation. And it's good. The game is really optimized uh, for you know low end PCs, except that 6 GB GPU requirement. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game with DLSS upscaling and DLSS frame generation on GTX cards. It will definitely work on GTX card because I have one and I don't know about AMD or Intel. It will work on them but you have to test it yourself. For this we need DLSS enabler. The latest version is 3.02. This is a beta version so it will have some issues uh, but I, I haven't had any issues yet. So first of all download this file using my link in the description or you can search DLSS enabler on github. Before we do anything make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if this works or not. Let's dive in. Alright after downloading go to the game installation location. I already installed the mod but I will show you how to do it. I'm not going to install it again on top of this because every time you do that the game will compile shaders over and over again. I don't want that. Then open DLSS enabler. Accept and hit next. For the installation location, select your game folder and click on the address bar and copy this. Put it in as the installation location. Or you can go here and blah 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 blah, same thing as before. As always, if you are a GTX or RTX card user, use this first option only. If you want to use this on AMD or Intel, you will need to select these three options. After the installation, uh, for AMD and Intel users, you will get the uh, two registry files in your folder. What you want to do is run the disable signature checks registry file. Now you can run the game. Sometimes the game will take a little bit longer than usual to load because of the mod. So be patient, but it will go away when you run the game for the second time. Finish the shader compilation. So with normal FSR 3.1 and FSR frame generation, I get decent FPS. It's smooth, but sometimes it gets a little bit stuttery due to my weak CPU. So if I go to the graphic settings, you can see now I have option to enable DLSS frame generation. But you will see when I change it to DLSS and change this to quality mode, my FPS go from 100 to 50s. But it's pretty sharp, clearer than FSR 3. For me, AMD frame generation and DLSS upscaling is the best. And FPS is decent as well. Not as much as FSR 3.1, but I will trade some FPS for a better looking game. You can use DLAA with this mod but you will lose 50 to 20 fps. So the sweet spot is DLSS quality and AMD frame generation. So if you change the game settings too many times, the game will respond to that by decreasing FPS to like 15 to 20. When that happens, restart the game. And if you want to uninstall the mod, just go to your game file location and run this uninstaller. Make sure to delete this file, because uninstaller will not. And that's it for this video. So like and subscribe, help me to get 2k subs at the end of this year, maybe. Until next video, adios amigos.